everybody and welcome to one of probably many, but this is our first Jurassic World Evolution playthrough, modded. So I guess modded Jurassic World Evolution. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, there's loads of new skins and um, model changes. and Even in some cases, they're so drastic that it completely changes the dinosaur. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything as well as like texture redoing. Look at that. We've got soil. We've got soil instead of the weird dirty thing. Uh, before we start as well, I just want to say thanks to Frontier. Uh, I'm doing, I'm able to give away three codes for Return to Jurassic Park. That is again on Steam. So if you want to be in with a chance to win that, all you need to do is go down the, in the comments. Yes, yeah, leave a comment what your challenge. Steam username is and what your favorite dinosaur is. Because like we haven't easy. done that one before. So let's do do this oh my god oh wow it looks so dirty oh i don't know if i like it <laughs> okay so oh i'm excited right right how are we gonna do this this is sanctuary island i've decided to do it on here i think this is probably the best part to or best place to put the uh the initial entry for uh for everybody we could probably put it here or put it there i'm gonna i'm gonna get too hung up on um details here um, so, there's loads of stuff, there's new dinosaurs, there's new terrain, and in some cases, new new animations for the dinosaurs as well. Um, oh, it's been ages, sorry, it's been a long time since I've done a playthrough of Jurassic World Evolution. Well, I'll say a long time, but it, for me, it has been, because I did that before I, uh, I swanned off to the land of Japan. <laughs> I was going to say, building oh. constraints. Does it go day and night? I feel like it goes day and night, right? If it's challenge mode, there's a day and night cycle. So one of the first things I'm gonna try and do is change one of the rocks. Now, these look like rocks. They shouldn't be. Fingers crossed, they should- Ah-ha, <laughs> yes! Look at that already! Wow. We have a new type of rock there. Not that you can really see it very well because we've decided to do this right when it's night. Um, there should be other types. So rock one is the same. Yeah! Rock two is the same. Rock three. Aha, there we go. Rock three is a fallen tree. Um, now, because it is still the rock, it apparently uh, dinosaurs can still phase through it. So, oh my God, wow. Oh! It is so dark, I can barely see anything. Hopefully I will have changed that for you. So, we, of course, we want to get straight in and get our uh, visitor center put up because without that, we can't do anything and just have a little ring. I'm doing the same thing I normally do, aren't I? <laughs> look, it looks okay. It looks glorious. I like it. Oh no, look at that. No, we can get some water in there. Just, just get that. And again, I can barely see. This is horrendous. <laughs> But we need um, another power plant. Mm, this terrain's not very happy with me. However, over here, it kind of is. Unless that's a tree that needs to be deleted. That's why I can't place that. They just place these trees that can't, like, buildings can't get rid of. We we've got mods. We've got a giveaway. What more can you want? And I'm not gonna lie. There's some dinosaurs in this um, that I'm really excited to see. Super excited to see. I'm not gonna spoil it, though. I'm not gonna spoil it. There's some from... Oh, no, don't say it. <laughs> it's not gonna spoil it. Continues to spoil it. Oh, wait, I'm made on a cheap path? Oh dear. That's not very good now, is it? Okay, so let's go on to fancy path and just replace. There we go. Replace all of this with beautiful fancy path. Oh my god, I didn't even notice the elevation. Uh, let's just flatten that. Woo! That's weird. We can have it. No, yeah, there we go. It's just a weird little dip. And we can probably smoothen that out. Probably add some more water here. Really, what we need is lights. And we've had some breakthroughs in the community. You can use lights to enclose dinosaurs and they won't get out. All right then, let's pay money to get these up and rolling so we can have some sort of dinosaurs. Um, I also want to, there should be a new tree. Actually, I don't know which one it is. Oh, there it is. It's a falling log. <laughs> That's the tree. <laughs> Beautiful. Look, we got so much stuff. We got fallen logs um, that you can barely see because it's kind of night. We got these rocks, actually. I want to place loads of these rocks. <coughs> Screw making dinosaurs. 
I want to make rocks. I think I think it's one, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Oh, it changes all the time. <gasps> or if I just never... No, it doesn't. I've just... This is the first time I'm doing this. Oh, that is cool. It looks like something from Skull Island. Ooh. Um, and I think it's probably Rock 3, is it? No, Rock 3 is that one. So Rock 2. Which one was it? Rock 4? No, it must be Rock 5. Rock 5. Yeah, Rock 5 is that one. Ah. And look, even though it's not legit, you can kind of phase things through each other. Because <laughs> if it was Frontier doing it, you wouldn't be able to do that. That tree would take up the whole island. <laughs> okay, and let's um, let's change the terrain a little bit to sand. And it's nice sand. It's not like beach sand where it's got uh, waves and stuff. We'll probably, yeah, yeah we'll, put, we'll put some sand around. We'll put some sand in here. Yes. Beautiful. Put some sand around there and then get some dirt. I'm not liking how there is no water here now. Okay, looks like we're having no water here, but we will have lots of trees. Should we have redwood trees? <laughs> redwood trees. <laughs> we'll have redwood trees. That's what happens when you get older. You forget how to talk. Did they not tell you that? Mm. And James, you're not very old. I know. Thank you. <laughs> but it's happening. There you can. Have some trees. Another fallen log. Can we actually... Mm, we'll probably not be able to place a fallen log in there. Uh, let's make it dirty then. We've got this. Look at this. This would normally cost money. And here I am doing it for free. Some grass in the middle. I think it's darkened grass even actually. Maybe if it's over dirt it goes dark. Something like that. Um, and we'll just smoothen all this out. Just to make it less weird looking. So there we go. We have only t we've used three point odd million. Oh my god! Also, I don't know if you can see this. This is a mug. There was a prototype. You see that? Oh, it's kind of reversed. Probably reversed. It says "Hibi Otokonoko," Otokonoko, which means Snake Boy. Or at least that's what I translated it to as Snake Boy. Uh, originally, it was gonna be like that on the mugs, and then I was like, just because we've got toast. Eh. Eh. Snake Boy's never really been a thing, so I got rid of it. And hopefully, and actually, I'm happier with it. It looks better. <laughs> oh my god, there's a knock-o daylight on this island! Or, or is it turning... Wait, hold on, is that moon going down? That moon looks like... Yep, that moon's going down. Oh good, we're, we're coming... Becoming day! Alrighty. Um, but we do have expedi expedition teams, so let's see what we've got. Parasaurolophus, Brachiosaurus, Carithosaurus... Oh, it's just all herbivores. Is there a carnivore? Surely you get one carnivore. No! No, it's not! <laughs> what? I started out with no! Oh, okay. How about dinosaurs? Can I... I need to get one star rating. Right, is any of these that definitely have new skins? Styracosaurus does. Uh, Herarosaurus does. And Baryonyx does. Oh my god! Alan Grant! Jesus! So what do you want? Obtain a Brachiosaur fossil. Oh, I'm so sorry. Metricanthosaurus? I can't even do that! Achieve a 1.5 facility rating. Well, first, we need a park tour. Does it not just show path? Doesn't show path? That- okay, is that normal? Because- oh my god, it's so dark. Finally, sunlight, please. Okay, there we go. There's our service road that runs back round here. And there's the hatchery. The inner workings, like Disneyland. Unless you got VIP, you don't see that. Um, so if this is gonna be the cage, they these cars need a quick turnaround, don't they? My God. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we have the gate. We'll probably have them just go round. I think just because we don't really need another enclosure, because I think all of those guys can get on together, and then we'll just go round and swerve, and there you have it. Beautiful! We've got like the entrance to Jurassic Park. Oh, and then nothing dead. <laughs> nothing in here at the moment. But do we have our dig team back? Of course we have our dig team back. Ah! Money! Gallimimus and a Gallimimus. Of course that's where I sent them, didn't it? Uh, well, we need a Brachiosaurus fossil. Brachiosaurus, Carithosaurus, Parasaurolophus, and Gallimimus. That's four of them. They can all go in the same enclosure, so. Um, out of these guys, two of them should have new models, so, hey. 
Oh, it's gonna be an exciting. Oh, that looks. Look at that. I think you can change these rocks so they look mossy rather than um. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see what I did. I think I changed the texture so everything's rocky. So even the, the tree's rocky. What about the log we placed? Is the log rocky? Uh, no, the log's different. Okay, maybe that tree's just supposed to look like that. That's the best that modders can do at the moment, I, th I think. <laughs> it's probably what they mean. Um, so we'll play, you know, we'll play some more redwood trees. Sada, we love redwood trees. Spin them. Spin them around. Place them all. Oh, there we go. Dr. Sattler and I used to save champagne for special occasions. Ooh! I guess this qualifies. Oh my god, a reference to the movie. I love it. Oh god, look at this. It's just all redwoods. <laughs> Ian, give me a security yeah. bunker. We all know what's waiting out there. Knowledge. Knowledge. I'll take and it. A new contract is waiting for you here. Old friend, how I've missed you. <laughs> Make sure we have full weather station coverage. You know, we can't get caught flat-footed because, uh, well, uh, we might need to run. We can't, can we? I don't think anybody use flat foot anymore. It's definitely a, a Jeffism. I'll play some trees here. Oh, there you go. We could have just as easily Delete failed, it. but this time, chaos. Give me another one, give me another one. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, it's a type of, gotcha. Oh, so it's not, um, it's not the terrain that's dirt. It's, it's something else, it's the tree. Oh, so if you place that, that's that one. If you place this, that's that one. So they're all, they all have like a really dirty dirt to them. Ah, interesting. Okay. We need that Baronic, so we need I Alan hope Grant. I you consider this new contract. It has a lot of potential to change things for the better. I agree. And what we'll do is we'll delete some of the trees that are around here and then have trees surrounding this. So they kind of open out into this area. They see Jurassic Park and they're like, oh, but then they don't know what's inside the enclosure and we'll sort of keep it hidden from them for a while, and then they can open out, and that's when they see all of this. Uh, so we're gonna need some, I mean, I'm spending too much money on this, but yeah, and we kind of want to keep them uh, guessing to how long the tour is gonna go on for. It's not really gonna go on for that long. <laughs> but we'll hide it behind a mountain of sorts. Uh, we'll make this place look even bigger uh, by adding some redwood trees as well. We'll add some dirt to the base of the trees, like so. That makes them look like they've all been planted. Ooh, they look weird. They look like pylons at the moment. Hold on, guys. Let me just spruce this up. So the way that the modders have got around only having four terrain uh, paintbrushes is that they've added the extra, uh, the darker paintbrush to this. Ah. Ah. I love it! Make it all dirty. And then there's some even darker bits. Oh my god, yeah, there's there's so much you could do with this. I'm, ma I'm making a dog's dinner out of this, but <laughs> the potential's there. Oh, I did it! I've heard I got furry treasure! Back and that they've made excellent progress. Oh god. In the field. Dig team, I need one star rating. Ah, damn it, that means I need a dinosaur! Oh wait, hold on, I'm making Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus is gonna be way too expensive. Hold on, we got money, we got money. Hold on, we got money. If we're gonna have one dinosaur, it's gonna be a good dinosaur. <laughs> Let's research the yeah! turtle! Oh, I completely forgot. We need, like, a way for the Jeep team to get into this place. Ah, they need a service road. But we could have another arrival pad, so this could be, like, the herbivore corner. I like it. Rolls off the tongue. Very good. But we need Jeeps, unfortunately. Um, and actually, actually, luckily, unfortunately, very good, um, is this. Ah, there we go, surrounded by shrubbery. Oh, treasure. Okay, what, have I, what are our missions? Release? Okay, no power rides. We can have that. Achieve a facility rate. We'll probably get that when we get Brachiosaurus. And as far as Ellie Sattler, what are you playing at, Laura? I know you're very proud and you're a bit excited that you're going to be in the new Jurassic World finale franchise film. You know what this enclosure needs? Oh, rocks! We're probably going to see a lot of dinosaurs clipping through that if I place that like that, aren't we? Actually, do, that's going to obscure the view. We want it like this. Yes! Look at that! Oh, it's so good! Frontier like, God damn it, James. <laughs> 
<laughs> Stop saying it! Is James risking his entire partnership on this one video? Or maybe two, now that he's made a how to do it. Probably! Find out next time. Fun! Look at it! It's so good! I don't like the sand, though. I think we make- we'll have this as like the redwood enclosure. Like a little bit of a plain area. Yeah, there we go. So this is probably where the Brachiosauruses are gonna hang out. Put a log there. We should have signs as well. Do we get the signs if it's Jurassic World? That's one of the reasons why I didn't want to do Jurassic World, actually. Because I don't think we get signs. Oh, we need to do the classic. Have the visitor center point in all directions. <laughs> visitor center? Which way? All the ways. Uh, one thing we're gonna need. Oh, that's right. We need to research. <gasps> I forgot. In order to even function, we need to research toilets. That's what happens in the 90s. Nobody used the toilet. They just dug a hole in the back garden and pooped there. I should know. I was around. That's what I did. <laughs> okay, Brachiosaurus is probably getting a little bit too expensive now. It's still 470. Is there like a flat rate for the first dinosaur you make? Because Brachiosaurus usually costs a crud ton, like a million. And have that sort of go around that way. Say, so, like, if you, you have a log, it's sort of surrounded by other plants, isn't it? So it's sort of overgrown. Unless it's like a recently fallen log. In which case, probably not. And nothing can be placed there. Oh, yes! Boom! And we research the toilet. Can't this day get any better? We could research the gift shops. That could make it even better. Next, we need a toilet. Next to it, there's the toilet. And then, running through of some fancy path. There we go! Uh, oh, I'll tell you what, though. I didn't realize that the... Uh, again, this, this place is very... Uh, very mountainous. It's up and downy all over the shop. Uh, speaking of shops, let's place a gift shop. Place a gift shop there. There we go. I like this play style. It's, it's not too commitment heavy on these things. On the facilities. It's still 470! And it's living to 93 years? Get in! Okay, let's let's change the, uh, the genome. Now, I haven't changed the Brachiosaur, so... That adds its cost up a little bit. Let's just make sure this Brachiosaur never dies. It's so cheap. Is that because it's I started off like this? So did they get more expensive? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But even still, look at that. It's living for 125, 128 now. It's still less than a million. Ah, 136. Because we've got it at 60%. We need a couple 10%, 5%, ooh. No, no, hold on, here it is, 10%, 10, 20, 30. I think it'll probably survive. I think it will do. Oh, they're, they're already off, and they're off. Oh, do we even have any visitors? Like, can we ride? Who's in here? What? You're a visitor. What are you doing? Oh, switching cars. Oh my God, those windscreen wipers are so tiny. Oh, look, there's the tree. <laughs> Ooh, it looks like we're entering World War One or something with barbed wire. Uh, how do we switch cam? Oh, okay. Is there anybody else in here? Anybody else? Yeah, there's just normal tourists. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. You can uh, soft launch. We haven't got any dinosaurs, but enjoy your time. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, you know what it is? I think this game's being really generous to me. It's just like, yeah, he has nothing. So let's just make sure the Brachiosaurus doesn't cost anything. <laughs> what is it on? 58% and 141. Oh my god. It's almost there. I mean, look at that. This island's huge. We got so much space. Oh, that's a nice shot with this tree. Woo -hoo -hoo, that looks lovely. And then there was a terrain texture that which changed the uh, the bark on the tree. So maybe that's a little bit different bark. Who oh, I did it. This outcome. I could. <laughs> me too, Jeff. <laughs> me too. Now give me a mission. Yes, more Jeff, please. The multiverse theory Again? postulates that we've already done this a million times in a million different realities in a million different universes. I want to play this to a point so, where I know taking word for word what Jeff's going to say. Feel, um, familiar by now. Wait, that's terrible. Why did I put them so uniform? <laughs> I could have done this way better. Okay, let's research binoculars because my God, they're going to need them because they're not seeing anything. Can I try and cover it a little bit so it's... Not so obvious. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's like an underpass. Oh, they drive through it and then boom into the enclosure you are. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Okay. Tree, I mean mountainous thing. 
Oh, wow. Oh, that looks great. Now that we've got the tree sort of hidden inside. Oh, I like it. Okay, Bra wait, Brachiosaur still isn't 100% done? I thought it would be. Oh, binoculars are done. There we go. Okay, we still need... Uh, so there's got to be something in here I'm, I'm going to want. Uh... Now, power. There we go. Power improvement. And does anybody ever use upkeep? If you play this game, have you used upkeep before? Because I bet you haven't. Because I haven't. Wait a minute. We're having a brachiosaur here, aren't we? Oh, dear. I just remembered why I don't really like making brachiosaurs. Trees. Because they like a crud ton of trees. Although there is an update now, which means that redwoods count towards... Oh, my God. How dark is that? Eh, <laughs> see anything <laughs> oh lord oh lord okay let's play some lights oh there we go now at least they can kind of find their way around and tell you what let's get the brachiosaur sign since we're actually gonna have brachiosaurs here oh yeah there you go and it can be oh if we're gonna <gasps> well, we're gonna have parasaurs as well it's all like the queue you know when you're waiting for a ride it's like you you'll see this on the ride so we'll have the... Oh, look, Gallimimus, Parasaur, all of us. Now, why doesn't Frontier just do one for everyone? There we go, 100% Brachiosaurus. Bam. Do we get anything extra? An extra slot? Yeah, we get an extra slot. More shark DNA. And, okay. Uh, what's he on? 58% chance of... Uh, okay, let's... Uh, 68. 78. 88. Okay, he's only got a 12% chance of failing now. Let's go. There we go. Brachiosaur. Oh, God. We're on 84,000. 82. Oh, oh. oh, there we go. Okay. Not bad. Gotta keep sending off the dick teams. Slightly going into the red. Oh, Thanks there for we the go. excellent work. Really, we need more competent action on these islands. Hmm. I know, right? With tree placement like that, how could you be disappointed? I never thought I would get a oh, chance to work I'm with gonna get living, that. breathing dinosaurs. Oh, you're welcome, Grant. It was beyond Grant. my ability to even conceive of such a possibility. But now we can expand our knowledge of these animals with contracts. Here's a new one. Don't let the opportunity slip away. I feel like Alan Grant wouldn't say that, though. He'd be like, ooh, There's nothing like pulling history out of the ground. That's how we discovered our prehistoric past. Well, I mean, before this place, before Jurassic Park. Still, these expeditions can prove invaluable. Send one out and see what it can find. More Alan! This has to incubate a giant herbivore. Oh my god, he's just... What's he like? One percent. Oh my god. Is Alan Grant going to, uh... Usurp? Ian Malcolm is my favorite? <gasps> Maybe! Because here's a brachiosaur! Surely that's got me over to like 0.5 stars already, right? I've made a dinosaur. If I could go back, tell my younger self that I'd be incubating dinosaurs, well, I wouldn't believe it. Heck, if I could tell the me of six months ago. No, yeah, get my point. I can't see it because it's all in the shadows because he only likes trees. Oh, the comfort's good though. This place, these islands and the dinosaurs this is my lifelong dream. oh wow and if these visitor ratings are any indication jurassic park well now it is everyone's dream my god there's actually quite a lot of leeway you here oh and we've leveled Mr. up Hammond already the foundation <laughs> jesus don't overdo it still only cost that much oh my god we could get another one Right, so we've got to one stars, one and a bit stars, probably the fastest I've jumped ever. Ooh, <gasps> who should we go for? Elisa. No, we need Alan Grant, so I'm gonna have to go for both. Every day, I'll do that. The dinosaurs are testing new strategies to overcome Ooh, our methods of get? containing them. If we are to survive, and yes, that's what we're dealing with, then we need to stay one step ahead of them. That's where a contract like this latest one comes into play. This is our step. Sick part. Oh, there it is! Oh, it looks great! <laughs> Look at it, damn it! What are you looking the other way for? Oh god, where are we? That's that's jumped ahead. Okay, we need to get get a little bit ahead. Yeah, there it is. Look at it over there! It's a brachiosaurus. 
all by itself. Probably very depressed, but not really. Because in this game, it's not. <laughs> oh, that looked awesome. Oh, great. Okay, more Allegrant. Give me, give me, give me. I studied dinosaurs since I was a boy. My passion became my career. Now I find myself here at Jurassic Park, questioning everything I believed. This new contract could provide some answers. You know what it is? I wonder if Sam Neill ever wonders. Let's get an expedition together. I wish I could go myself, but I have other responsibilities. I wonder if Sam Neill ever thinks, because of my role in Jurassic Park, I inspired... Because usually, like, with, with a role in a movie, it's like, oh, you're the, the actor, oh, that was a cool role, or whatever. But when he played Alan Grant, it was something different. It, in terms of dinosaurs, it made it, it made a possible career. You know, you don't watch James Bond and go, right, I'm going to be a spy. Because how often, how many spies, oh, there's probably a lot of spies out there, but you know what I mean, like, but with paleontology, it was, wow, okay, maybe I could work, you know, I could dig up dinosaurs and stuff. Probably not many people followed through with it, me being one of them, <laughs> but just that the impact he had, his character had, and his role had on a, like just a whole generation that grew up with Jurassic Park. If it wasn't for Jurassic Park, if it wasn't, I mean, maybe if he, it was somebody else who played Alan Grant, but still, in part, if it wasn't for him playing the role that he did and how he did, I don't think I would have been as interested or as keen to want to follow my passion of dinosaurs, whether it was wanting to be a paleontologist or just, I don't know, it, it's, it's just weird. I wonder if he ever thinks about that. Oh, is that Bracky so happy? He's looking for water. Off she goes. Okay, guys. I also realized that in this um, in this game uh, that we've just started, we can't get all the dinosaurs, which means that we're not going to see all the modded dinosaurs. However, some of the big ones are in this one, so we will not be disappointed. So that's good. Um, but what I'm thinking is, once we've completed this and we've got all the modded dinosaurs that we need... We'll jump into, like, Sandbox and check out the other ones. But next time that we do this, uh, I'll make sure to do, to do Jurassic. Because that way you can get all of the, uh, all of the uh, dinosaurs and all the dig sites and stuff. Making dinosaurs cost money. It's it does. Business. An interesting, unique, unprecedented, and at times terrifying business, but a business nonetheless. That is why the Hammond Foundation will be deducting a fee from your operation. I mean, why? It's a dino eat, dino world now. <laughs> right. So all he wants is profit from expedition sales. So all we need to do is just sell things. So we'll sell that because I don't really want a stegosaur because its social need is really quite awful. <laughs> oh, we're getting. I mean, really, we get the big sales from the gold and the treasure and stuff. So. I see a lot of people still. Oh, look at that. Look how it impacts on the sand. That's so cool. You see, normally in Jurassic World Evolution, when you put the grass over a terrain, it becomes the dirt texture. But that one, it didn't. It just made the, the uh, sand a little bit darker. Now, this mod's done a lot, and we're in early days, like super early days. If you think of JPOG and all of the amazing things that the mod community made for JPOG, that was, you know, years and years and years after the game released. And now that we've finally got a breakthrough that we can mod, people are, are making some amazing stuff. And you're going to see it. The next species we get in this park is a whole new one. I can't wait to hear what the expedition has discovered. Good news for us all, I hope. And by by when I'm saying a whole new one, I, le I legitimately mean a whole new species that's never been in the game before. So I'm going to get another Brachiosaurus because <laughs> why not? Um, who should we go for? Go for, go for John Hammond. Little, little bit of John. Tells me that you have been completing your tasks effectively. Damn it, John! Gosh. Perhaps you could show me yourself by accepting this contract. I shouldn't have went with you. Woo! Okay, so, I mean, that's okay. I mean, all you need to do is just go into gifts, go for the highest price, shift up the price so you make a little bit of profit, and you're pretty much good. I mean, the more dinosaurs you get, the more it goes up, and then you just put the staff members up, but that's all you need to do. Once you do that, put the staff members up and you'll be okay. 
So why is this Brachiosaur? What shall we call you? What shall we call you? We'll call you Big Betty. Yeah! The first one, Big Betty. Oh God, oh God, she's gonna kick the Jeep. Or is it? No, the, the Explorer should stop, I should say. Or cruise, should say. Jungle Explorer, Jungle Cruise vehicles, going for trees. Going for the food even. Mm. But we, st oh, I need to send, you these are so quick. A Padasaur and a Padasaur. So in this playthrough, I'm licking my lips a lot because I got dry lips, I apologize. <laughs> um, there's no Padasaur in this playthrough that we're doing. It's a new species. Um, if you have seen my how to mod video, which will be going up after this one, whole new one, it's got a new model, it's got new animations, it's got a new rig, it looks so good. Apatosaur is one of those dinosaurs in this game that I actually like. So it's a shame that they've taken over that one, but when you've got so many sauropods, it kind of makes sense as to why you would, you know, as one of the dinosaurs that this is switched in and out for. It means that the way it, it moves is very slow. I don't think they've managed to change that yet. <gasps> oh my God, T-Rex. Oh, we're gonna get a T-Rex super early on. Oh my god, I'm so excited for T-Rex, because there's two, there's two, there's two amazing T-Rexes that we're gonna get. I'm excited, I'm excited. Hopefully it works, fingers crossed. One of them will work, I don't know about the other one, I think it will, I'm 90% sure the other one will work. What we're gonna do, because I'm really excited for this Apatosaur, is I am first just going to, uh, we don't need to change its skin, it's Null will be the one I want. 714 million, and boom, there we go, our first Apatosaur. Now I think Apatosaur needs two. Might be okay with one though, but we're getting T-Rex here. Oh, I'm excited. Wow, T-Rex already. Awesome. When I first experienced this place, John apologized for things that didn't work. Look at that log. Little did we know. Oh. But with your efforts on this contract. That's so cool. When you no think about it, like, remember needed. when this game was first being announced and it was thinking, we were all like, what's that dinosaur in the water? And uh, we thought it was Dilophosaurus, but then I think it was Nick Rogers. He said, no, it's not. It's a log. Turned out to be actually Dilophosaurus before it was confirmed. <laughs> but now we have logs in the game. There's a new contract that I strongly suggest Ooh. you act. Ah, you and Ellie are working together on this one, aren't you? So what kind of dinosaurs can we get now? Styracosaurus, that's good. That's got a new one, but I don't think we can get Metricanthosaurus yet. We, You're asking for me. I need to do so much more. Oh my god, Alan. I hope it's day. I hope it's day when this comes out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this episode off here. If you have entered the giveaway, three Return to Jurassic Park codes ready to give away. Uh, thanks to Frontier, thank you. Um, and you need to comment down below what your favorite dinosaur is, as well as your Steam ID, uh, so I can gift it to you. Next episode, I will announce the winners um, and we will continue with this playthrough, see new dinosaurs that we've never seen before. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. It's it's something new to the game that I've been waiting for for so long. And if we're waiting on, you know, DLCs, it's gonna be ages. So I'm so glad that the modern community has like came together and has made a really big breakthrough with this code. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like until next time. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>